Lexan. Her teacher mispronounces spelling words. The TV is always on, and she is learning about processed cheese. Outside, the birds are butchering her name. The clouds are turning over in the hemlock trees, and Mom and Dad are arguing about a plumber in the middle of the lawn. The bomb no longer relevant. Another summer falls to pieces from the bottom up. And so she rides a therapeutic ball that rubber stamps the carpet, giddy up the living room, the kitchen, and the hall. She also likes to knit when she's in bed and hums to all the jingles in her head. A hymn to all the jingles in her head. The man whose mustache smells of cigarettes is rolling out the wall to wall. It's said he drops the S for savings. No regrets, no spelling bees. Her summer falls apart. The fronds of seashells bubble in the dark and starfish quarrel. Nature mirrors art, and nature mort is melting in the park. But we can't hear it now. Another day, another bouncy ride past buried chairs aboard the therapeutic ball. Let's stay inside again today and stay downstairs, for on this globe shall ye be exercised. The revolution will be televised. The revolution will be televised. The green light means your wish is on demand, and changing channels will not come disguised as volleyball or castles in the sand. Today, the revolution comes to you, who balance on the polypropylene, the Protestant, the Catholic, the Jew. The revolution will not try to clean the living room or find the furniture that's covered with the towels you're meant to fold. The revolution boosts the amateur, disarms the mom, empowers the 12-year-old. The game is on. The bomb's irrelevant. We're riding on a rubber elephant. She's riding on a ruby elephant of polypropylene. A metaphor. A meteor. The ball is heaven sent. A means of transportation through a door. Oh, pixelated dinosaur. Hello. I like to say hello. Will you please sing with me? about the Desperate Housewife show? The little people in a world of bling? The Mormons with the monoglot of 18 kids next door? Another one is on the way, and we bounce faster. There is no divorce scene at the tabernacle, so we stay inside, where nothing but the channels switch. Put on another Jersey housewife, bitch. I'm not another Jersey housewife, bitch. What's eating you? Go ask your little friend. Outside, the birds are tangling in a Hitchcock palimpsest. Oh, summer without end, divorced of all disaster. Here inside, the windbag is our pal, the poly pro. Pauline, it's over. Good enough. I tried. But we don't understand the way things go, or what the people out the window mean when they engage on their unchanging channels, moving perpendicular between the tangled shirts, exfoliated flannels, matchless socks, designer underwear, and cotton pants. We're light as Fred Astaire. Forgotten Pants the sight of Fred upstairs and Ethel, our imaginary friends, reminds us of the cyclical affairs of situation comedy. It ends in tears. 
and starts again. It fucks you up. Oh, Lucy, honey! Wah! Ricardo's wrinkled in his rented tux, and Lucy's at the club. Get out of here. It's happening again. The Eskimo on saxophone defies the mariachi troubadours by cueing Harpo. No, they pleaded with her not to mime Pagliacci or play that push-me-pull-you thing with mirrors. It fucks you up. It always ends in tears. It fucks you up. It cuts both ways and tears the moral fabric, causing it to leak. But there's a rock behind this veil of tears. Lucille Ball and Desi will return next week. Things fall apart around the plastic globe, which will not decompose but flounder in our absence, like a frontal lobe but flat. Well, this is where we left and found her, wasting time, ignoring everything, and watching television on the red tympanic sphere. A girl, meandering amidst the laundry, jingles in her head. Her mother's out. She listens to the birds, her teachers, mispronouncing spelling words.